Hey there, all you wonderful people. Surreal Canine here with more Explorers of Sky. In the last episode, we uh, went to uh, <clears throat> we went to Ant Plains to uh, retrieve uh, Timmy and Tommy's water float. Uh, we met a, the legendary explorer Malleus and uh, Daniel and probably his brother uh, got. Uh, bounties. <laughs> Daniel's an S-rank outlaw, and Ben is a five-star outlaw, is what I am saying. Of course, uh, that's what happened in fanfic land. Over here, we are just uh, kind of freaking out over the fact that, um, let me think, is the, uh, is the volume to, no, the volume is fine, I just need to lower my own volume. That's a little better. <laughs> Don't want it to be uh, completely overpowering here in my ears. Anyway, uh... Why are we out here in the open? Oh, okay, yeah. Alright, so, making preparations to go capture Ben. Uh, obviously in fanfic land, uh, Abram and Buck would be doing this by themselves, uh, Daniel would be off who knows where, uh, definitely hiding from the guild, maybe trying to, very likely trying to find Ben in fact. In any case, Sonny, what do you have to say? We must capture that dreadful Grovile. Yes, I, it is a thing. Usually, Emil, you are more observant than that. <laughs> By the way, Chuck O'Connor was uh, playing Chrono Trigger now, so if you like Chrono Trigger, go check it out. Yeah, he's new in the area. Alright, let's see... We've got two heavy boxes that uh, could use some opening. Except, uh, I kinda need to retrieve some cash. Chara's Claw! Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Let, 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 let's look at this. Let's look at this item. Slightly boosts attack, okay. It's a rarity one, but but still. I got an item for the protagonist. That's great. And there's like f almost 500 different species of Pokemon, so... Yeah. Oops, yeah. Uh, I'm being a doof and uh, being a doof. You must do what I say because I am a doof. Whoop whoop. Alright, that should be enough for all the, uh, goodsing I wish to do. What's in the other heavy box, Mr., uh... Keep forgetting everybody's name. Merlot, right. <laughs> it took me a while to find his name. Ooh, uh, we do have, uh... We do have an Elekid, but, uh... It's not a big priority to hold on to that. What can we buy? Lots of gummies. I I can appreciate that. Let me just uh, withdraw some more cash. <coughs> Hi, Malleus. Let us pick our killer axe and kill. Do you guys even are remotely cognizant of what that is from. Uh, I salute you for uh, being into terrible ROM hacks. <laughs> it's all about a thing. Alright, let's, uh, let's store some stuff here. Don't quite need as many Orin Berries. Uh... Not right now, anyway. 
Don't need that. Yeah. Let's sort our storage uh, just because we can. And let's buy all these gummies. Beautiful. All right, to the cafe. Abram learns self cure. That means he will recover from status effects quicker. Also, this was sent to you by that guest over there. Uh, cricket? Oh, we got an egg from a cricket tot. I'll be, cu I'll be curious to see uh, what that hatches into. Alright, now that that's all taken care of, uh, I think we've got a pretty good team assembled here. Actually, actually no, considering the dungeon we have coming up, we do not have a good team assembled here. Uh, sorry, Mareep, you are uh, off the active roster for now. Let's see, who can I put on the roster? Actually, I say let's go, but what I actually mean is let's uh, grab some more uh, Reviver Seeds out of storage. Maybe an Orenberry. 30 items to hold sounds just fine to me. Now we shall go. Now, I see everyone's with us. First and foremost, this should go without saying. Ben appears. Ben Nikolai appears wherever time gears are located. But where are the time gears? That is the question. But we have no answer, and therefore we have relied upon the great Malleus for ideas. Together, we've identified several locations where the time gears may be found. We ask that everyone split into groups and investigate each of these potential sites. Uh, first, Shoop and Albert. I'm assigning you to Eastern Forest. That's the huge forest far to the east, of course. 
Got it! Hey, hey, we'll do our best. Next, Buck, Dale Sr., and Sonny. We'd like you to search Crystal Cave. Yup, yup, will do. No, Buck's coming with us. And finally, Daniel and Abram, you two are assigned to the Northern Desert. The Northern Desert? Correct. Open your wonder map. Okay. Let me open my wonder map and see just how far this dungeon goes. Fifteen floors. See, the area on this map, the area on the map is obscured by clouds, but the dry terrain starts in this area here. Not even that far from town, really. That's why it's rumored that a vast desert extends from that point onward. It, like, do you just not have explorers being sent to that area? How is this unexplored territory? It's like... I don't know. <laughs> well, no, I don't know the scale of this map. <laughs> Given the size of Capim Town, I can't imagine it's more than like five miles away, though. That is where we're sending you to investigate. Okay, we understand. Um, what about me? Dale Jr. will remain at the guild. We can't very well leave the guild completely unattended. Gilliam and I are staying behind at the guild, too. The work we do at the guild is important, too. Let's make sure we keep up our good work. Yes! Now, let's find the Time Gears, everyone! Yoo-ta! Hooray! Let's go! The northern desert is not only wide and deep, it is raked by vicious sandstorms. Please do take care. Will do. Thank you. Daniel, let's do our best. Sandstorms do damage to anybody who is not a rock, ground, or steel type. Uh, kind of dangerous for us. Yes, we know. So, yeah. So, Ben would also be going to the Northern Desert, uh, because obviously we're going to run into a time gear. <laughs> and Daniel would uh, follow him there. We still have to go to Landslive Cave at some point, but maybe when all of this business is over. Because Daniel, not only does he want to... Uh, not only does he want to catch the guy who's going after the Time Gears, just because, I mean, he's not entirely a bad person, he's just a kind of violent kid. He also wants to know why Ben has the same name as him, and if they are in fact brothers. Still looking for clues as to who he is, you know? The Northern Desert is through here. If the Time Gear really is here, Ben should show up here for sure. Let's do our best and find that time gear. Another very nice uh, music track. Sandrew, pure ground type. I may have already said that at some point. It doesn't make it any less true. Also, I forgot to get smoke screen back, but hopefully it won't have uh, too much of an impact on our... Uh... Oh dear. Alright, Auron is Rock Steel type, a uh, very defensive Pokemon. Cacturn. Er, that's not Cacturn, that's Cacnea. Cacnea is a pure grass type. The 
this uh, sweet scent will actually be uh, very handy for us, I believe. Ooh, dainty box. Cool. Alright, let's see if we can't find a wonder tile somewhere. So I just realized my mouse cursor was on the, on the game window. Uh, we can't very well have that, can we? Don't really have any better moves than Ember for taking out that guy. I mean, uh, Steel kind of resists almost everything. If we had a fighting type move, we'd be solid, but we don't. Cubone! A, gr a pure ground type. You almost never see Pokemon that carry actual weapons on them. Might make a neat addition to the, uh, to the whole Mystery Dungeon uh, formula here. I don't know. But it was not to be. Hello, level 21! A low new move! What did we learn? Slam! Uh, we could substitute that for quick attack. I mean, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit more powerful. But I kind of like the utility that quick attack has, so uh, we're not going to learn it right now. Yeah, see? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oop. Oddish uh, caught wind of something. Okay, nice one there, Oddish. Let's continue. Oddish is uh, probably bound for a level up at some point here, right? Sandstorm! Okay, we're going to start uh, receiving uh, periodic damage here. It's kind of a pain, especially since our, uh... No, our natural healing can keep up to it, actually. That's nice. Well, for most of us, anyway. But yeah, if you have a sunny or rainy orb from, uh from a special episode one, uh, feel free to bring it along here. I was dumb and forgot to. That is not going to affect me, no siree. I am a potato. I'm a potato with reduced attack power. You stop that. Okay, poison powder. That's uh, not a very useful move for us. <laughs> The, with the changes to the uh, the changes to the uh, formula in this game over the main series, poison is something that is bad for you to have, but not very good for you to inflict on other Pokemon. Here, have an Ember. If, uh, if Oddish starts running out of too much HP here, we might have to send her home. Buck uh, can very clearly take care of himself, though. Rude. 
I don't need poison on top of the thing. Oh, does uh, Sandshrew have increased evasion in Sandstorms? He totally would, wouldn't he? Maybe. Alright, Buck leveled up. Uh, not very much in the way of stats, though, unfortunately. Must use every resource available to us if we wish to survive in this crazy place. Still keeping an eye on Oddish's uh, HP there. Of course, it would be in the very last room we visit. I do not feel like disturbing that Auron. We are just going to uh, move straight on ahead. Oh look, stairs. Uh, let's... Oh, I would say let's heal, but they, we have a visitor. We have two visitors, apparently. What the heck, Daniel? Where are you aiming, dude? Oh, hi! Uh, surprise multi-hit move. What the heck, game? Oh, hello. Cacnea joined the team. Alright, let's send Oddish home. Level 23, uh, much more able to take care of himself, although, uh, I question if that is the case for Daniel. <laughs> Ooh, tile set change. It's very, uh, parched in this area. Are these Pokemon bones? Carnivine, grass and flying type, I think. A very odd mix there. Ooh, glittery box. Cool. Trap Inch! Uh, pure ground type, I think. Alright, I leveled up. Some uh, much welcomed HP there. I mean, you know, like I said, never be afraid to use your items. Unless it's a blue gummy, then you have every right to be afraid to use your items. Ooh, hello. Uh, grimy food. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, let's see. He's due north of us. Uh... Buck, you deal with him. Cacturn is the evolved form of Cacnea. Pure grass type again. Unless they are both grass poison. I will have to check that. Uh, I'm living dangerously here, not a- ooh. Laron! A, uh, a- another- the evolved form of Auron, another rock steel type. I think I'm going to eat one of my orange berries. Thank you for that, Abram. Okay, the threat has passed. Uh, I only have two PP left for Ember. That could be problematic. Especially because uh, Abram being an electric type, uh, a quick attack is really the only thing he has that'll uh, work too well on these ground type guys. Didn't quite remember there being so many grass types here. I mean, Cacnea is uh, is kind of an obvious choice for a desert, but why Carnivine? In any case, onward to floor ten and another sandstorm. That's just great. Did I bring an orb with me for this? I didn't. Oh well. 
So, grimy food. It uh, fills your belly a little bit, but it also gives you a nasty status effect. Oh dear. Eh, come on, Buck. Why, why do all of you guys have to miss so much? Okay, uh, let's protect Buck here. Yes. And Abram takes out the other guy. Leech Seed? Well, that's just... For, can't use my set move. And now I'm going to be uh, hit every turn for, like, 10 HP, and it's the... Oh, dear. Uh, yep. There goes... But Don't I have a Reviver Seed? I don't have a Reviver... Did I deposit them all by mistake? That's probably what I did, isn't it? Well, that just makes things uh, more interesting, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, Buck. Very nice to have a pin missile on our side, though. Uh, welcome to the Team Cagnea, seriously. Alright, I'm out of the uh, embers. Got five floors to go. Maybe I should uh, have one of my max elixirs. Yeah, no time. Okay, no time like the present. Uh... Let's just stall, why don't we? Aha! And now you die. That is my revenge! Is Cacnea not taking damage? Why is he- why is Cacnea not taking damage? It must be Sandvale. Faint attack is a... Dark type move that is always accurate. At least I think it's a dark type move. Abram, pick your killer axe and kill. Are you out of the? Uh, are you out of quick attack? You are out of quick attack. Okay. Uh. You know what? I can give him a thing. Leveled up. Very nice. <clears throat> oh, jeez, Fury Swipes. Uh, well. <laughs> I'm dead. I would indeed like to send out for a rescue. Turn to the top menu, select Get Help with Friend Rescue, and choose the method for sending your SOS mail. It's going to quick save me, just to uh, make sure I don't do anything sneaky. Like, for example, try to rescue myself. Ha 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 ha.
All right, let's send our Wonder Mail S. We will use a password. Not that. Um. Derp. Friend rescue. Get help. Send SOS mail. Password. Alright, here is the uh, friend rescue password. Of course, uh, I'm not expecting any of you guys to uh, try to rescue me. I have my own plan, and it involves some uh, heroes I've been waiting for a good 21 episodes to introduce to you guys. So, uh, yeah. But I will be right back. Okay, so, in my uh, other save file here, I have, uh, I have loaded up the uh, friend rescue password. SOS mail has been received. S rank difficulty, that sounds about right. Alright, let's save the adventure and uh, get friend rescuing. Go rescue. Meet Brent and Ark, the Ace Explorers at the, uh, at the Wigglytuff Guild. And a Psyduck for some- why do I have a Psyduck on the team? <laughs> uh, as you can see, uh, we've got quite a bit of, uh, IQ stuff going on. Let's uh, fix up their IQ skills here. Cool. Team Cerberus. Brent is a level 38 Lucario. Uh, Lucario, uh, has kind of a weird combination of uh, mo of uh, abilities here. <laughs> Pretty much your uh, movement speed goes up when you're cross-eyed. That's really the only benefit, thanks to the weirdness here. Ark is a Growlithe. He's a good boy. So, yeah. Let's, uh, let's check out our inventory here. That might come in handy. Take out iron thorns and graveler rocks. Uh, two apples. Two orin berries. Reviser seed, another lookalike item. Uh, several reviver seeds. And a pair of violent seeds, why not? Two max elixirs. An escape orb. Don't think we have anything for a. Uh, yeah. Okay, whatever the heck is going on here. Don't really need to put anything in the bank. We don't have anything to put in the bank anyway. We don't really need to take anything out of the bank. Let's see, what is this story with this Psyduck here? Oh, 18. And nope, you are on standby. 
All right, let's go rescue our friends. Can provide you with a reward if we succeed. You can't recruit new members to your team while on a rescue. If you're defeated on a rescue mission, you can't call for your own rescue, but we are ace explorers. We will be fine. Please choose an SOS mail. 11th floor of Northern Desert. Let's go. Again, quick save to make sure we don't try anything funny. Rescue challenges left. 10. So yeah, if we fail to rescue uh, Team Olympia 10 times, uh, we'll just have to accept the game over. Art gained two levels. Uh, how about that? That's a sign that his uh, EXP was off. <laughs> Why are these all linked? Oh well. Might as well show it off. Yeah, let me see. Can I unlink these? Doesn't look like it. Alright, fine. I guess we're stuck with some linked moves for now. What about Ark? Ark is uh, just fine the way he is. Alright, moving on. Spear does quad damage to, the, to uh, Auron, so that's pretty nice. <laughs> I got a double regular attack on that one. And I have an innate mini counter. It's very nice. Like I said, Brent here, Ace Explorer. And if you are wondering, uh, no, you cannot have Growlithe as a, uh, as a, uh, primary partner. I hacked Ark into the game. <laughs> I hacked Brent into the game, too, but that's, uh, that's beside the point. But you know, uh, it's just typical that those noobs over in Team Olympia had to get knocked out on a mission. And for no other reason than they forgot to bring a Reviver Seed. So yeah, Abram and Buck are going to be made fun of forever. I don't need to use my moves on these guys, really. Bone Meringue! Ouch! Ouch! Oh yeah, ground is super effective on steel. I guess maybe it's worth using Aura Sphere after all. Bam. Seriously, why did I have them linked? doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So yeah, Lucario being a fighting steel type uh, is immune to sandstorms, which is very nice. So what am I doing? I forgot to equip my stuff. Gives a Joy Ribbon to Brent and the Defense Scarf to Ark. That sounds about right. I 
It's a tiny bit of bonus experience, uh, nothing too special, but, I mean, hey, it's a thing, right? Another dainty box. Very cool. Aha! I made the enemy skip a turn with my awesome intimidation skills. Heat Wave is a fire type move that attacks the entire room. Way stronger than Vacuum Cut as well. We're going to want to make sure uh, Ark is in top condition when we uh, hit the rescue site. Another grimy food. It's just lovely. Close to the rescue site. And hello, uh, Pokemon Trap. Link moves are almost out of TP. Use them twice and they will come apart. I am fine with that because I didn't want them linked to begin with. Uh, thank you, Ark. How, how is your. Uh, Okay, you've got one heat wave left. Uh, one more though, and I'm gonna have to uh, give you a uh, max elixir. The link moves became delinked. Okay, we are out of sword stance, but that is just fine. Sphere is another always accurate move from uh, the main games. I don't know if it's always accurate in this game. Yeah, it never misses. And it hits in line of sight, so uh, a very, very nice set move for Brent to have here. Bone Rush is, I believe, one of those moves that hits multiple times. Okay, here's a monster house. This, this is the rescue site. That flag over there is where we're trying to get to. Ark, pick your killer axe and kill! He's gonna have to uh, crush some fools here. What are you doing? We don't need anything but Heat Wave here, so uh, let's go. Alright, that took out a good chunk of the enemies here. <laughs> Knocked out by a counter. Pretty great. Ooh. Alright, gotta watch Ark's HP here. Here, have an Ornberry. Uh oh. Alright, fine. Detect. I am immune to all moves now. It, uh, buys me some time to restore myself. Get out of here.
So yeah, as a uh, good amount of treasures, uh, welcome back, Ark. Rescue! Here's a reward for your successful rescue mission. We got an insomniscope. That's nice, I guess. And 90 explorer rank points. Now we must save. It's all well and good. Don't forget to send an A-OK -okay mail to the friend you rescued. Alright, let's do that. Oop, items and money must be stored or they will be lost. Very well. Store everything. And store all our cash too. Alright, we are golden. Sure, we can send them an item. Uh, let's send them a reviver seed because they were dumb and did not bring one. All right, here is the password. So let us get back to Daniel's story and uh, uh, open up this password. All right. Over here in uh, Olympia land. Let's receive our AOK -okay mail. We also got an item. It's very nice. Resume your game using Revive Team. Saving. Rescue chances left. Nine. All right, we are back on the 11th floor. We received the Reviver Seed. Thank you very much, Brent and Ark. Let's see. Uh, yep, we are fully revived, which is pretty nice. Still not going to turn on a... Abram's electric type moves just yet, just because there are so dang many ground type Pokemon around. And sadly for us, Buck did not get revived. <laughs> oh well. Abram got knocked out, but that is fine. As long as he didn't get knocked out, knocked out, but he's just sleeping, we are fine. Not Delta Rune. Being put to sleep does not remove us from the fight altogether. Die. All right, sixty-two Pokey. Very cool. Can I throw a stick through here? Yep. and I uh, can't throw a diagonal. Ah, 
Ah, and we didn't get any experience for that. Curse you, Cacnea. You exist! Ugh! Oh yeah, 14th floor. 15th floor! We are very, very close to the end. Hi. Right on, pure rock type. Uh, I think. Or is it rock and ground? It might be rock and ground. Bit of a pain for this particular party, but maybe if Cacnea was in front. Sadly, uh, it seems a little hard to arrange that. Level up! No one can stop me! I mean, cool. You know, we are all very impressed. Bonk. Alright, and that is the end of this crazy dungeon. Is this the deepest part of the desert? Uh, watch out! It's quicksand! That means there's water underground. The sand's getting sucked down here and there. They're like sand whirlpools and we'll be pulled in if we get close. Or there's just ant lions messing around. Or trap inch, I guess. It's dangerous here. I don't see anything around here that remotely looks like a time gear. Man, there's nothing here. Oh? What's the matter, Daniel? This feeling, it's like the one I got at Fogbound Lake. I... I know this place! Maybe I've only heard of this place, but it seems like I've been here before. I can't tell which. Either way, I do know this place. Listen, Daniel. What's the matter? You were off in your own thoughts there. <clears throat> well, there seems to be nothing here. How disappointing. Let's support our findings to the guild. Let's go home. And he doesn't even let us investigate. Oh well. Clouds parted over the northern desert. Not a whole lot of clouds, though. What? So everyone's back from their searches, but nobody found anything? Disappointing. That's what happened, alright. Hey, hey, we went out to the eastern forest just like we were told. But hey, there's nothing really there but the forest. And as for Crystal Cave, yup, yup, it was chock full of crystals. Mighty pretty cave, I tell ya. It was so pretty that I just couldn't help uh, helping myself through a crystal. Ooh, when did you pick that up? I was with you the whole time. I never noticed. Fuck. Our objective was to find a time gear. We all failed to achieve our objective. You had the nerve to collect a souvenir totally unrelated to the mission. And what's wrong with that? Seriously, what's wrong with that? Now, sir, I regret to say it. Our search efforts ended fruitlessly. Yeah, this is vexing. I thought the search locations we chose held promise. I blame my lack of knowledge. I am truly chastened. Oh uh, my goodness, no! You mustn't blame yourself. Why, it was thanks only to your vast knowledge that we came up with our plan, Malleus. Nonetheless, our efforts have ended in failure. That's a fact. But being hard on ourselves is pointless. Let us reconsider our plan. We'll devise a different strategy tomorrow. Yes, let's do that, and may we find success together. That's how it stands, everyone. That's enough work for today. Rest up, prepare for tomorrow. Understood! Make tomorrow another good day, Daniel. Okay, good night. It's morning, and that will be the end of this episode. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to remember to send a thank you mail to Brent and Ark for, uh, for their wonderful uh, helpfulness. So, yeah. See you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.